Hello and welcome to this Zero AD, the Champions Cup. Today we will be watching a game between Feld Feld and Churstigatur. Churstigatur. Farmstead first for Churstigatur. And the same for Feld Feld. Storehouse as well. Growing some chickens and growing wicker baskets straight up. No baskets yet for Trust Trustigator. Going heavy into wood. Six on berries and ten on wood. No baskets yet for Trustigator. He's going for an early rush here with Celtic Slingers. Eight Slingers and two Spearmen. It's an Iron Ill. Lao Sai or Yao Sai and Gaidoa. Gaidoa. Ga. Gaelic. Celtic. <laughs> I don't know. Farm two houses. Find a dog. Coon. Coon. Gesserados. Gesserados. Gaiserados. Gaisardados. The population is equal, except Chris. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna call him Chris. Chris uh, is capped currently. Taking over the storehouse. No baskets yet for Chris. Deleting the storehouse. Nice bait. Use two horses there as little bait to get the units closer to the town centre in order to be... The closer you, you are to range attacks, the more likely they are to actually hit you. I think there's a slight RNG on them. <laughs> or a slight something. Another skirmisher. Cav. And just four houses straight up. Well, he won't be capped again for a while. We have got seven cav skirmishes. None left in base. Population is looking about the same. Although now Feldfeld is capped. I imagine another. Ah, yes. Okay. Interesting. Racks going down. No upgrades of any kind.
just baskets for filled field. His population is slightly more and his food is quite a ways ahead. Another farmstead coming up. He started off with two lots of berries and didn't go basket, whereas Feldfeld started off with one lot of berries and did. Kind of thinking those build orders should have been reversed, but doesn't matter. Maybe he hadn't scouted the berries. It's not something that you usually think about when you're uh, setting up your build, I imagine. Very bright. Is this map just bright or is my brightness odd? Five more cab skirmishes coming out. Whereas we the majority of Chris's army is slingers. And that's that's it. He's he's got uh, nine army. Ten. Taking down one horse. He's just having a little bit of a look around. Just a scout, see what he's got. Where are his buildings? Where are his... Where is his economy? Where is... Has he got his farms near? Has he still got... Has he got wood chopping, which is with only women that he can raid? Is there anybody inside? Yes. Nice little bit of information. He knows literally everything now. That's all that he had. The uh, population is still the same. Resources are looking pretty good for uh, Chris here. He's got a lot of wood that he's not using. He should probably go right ahead and use a bit of that wood. Although he doesn't have the food to go with it. Especially not now. Oh, he's just seen this raid coming in and he's rang the bell or done something. Nineteen army we got over here. What's this storehouse for? For these trees? There's what? What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know the logic of having so many storehouses everywhere. 200 wood from each tree, and that costs 100 wood. So you're getting 100 wood from each of these trees now. One, two, three. Hmm. Over here at, at a copse, yeah, maybe. But this early, I don't think... Hmm. I think maybe early game you should just go for copses and don't try and get these individual trees. I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about really. That's just, that's just how it feels. Pops still the same. Food, resources are looking about whatever.
one, two, three, four, five farms fulfilled, filled, and one, two, three, four active, five, six, seven, eight, eventually. Got a whole lot of women here doing nothing. Still doing nothing. Oh, oh, there they go. In the meantime, the raiding party is back. So now we're looking at about 31 army versus, well, hmm. population's still about the same, but uh, 36 women, it's got 42 army versus 33 attacking. If he took everything off of resources now, which he has done, he'd be okay. But the horses are just too fast. Everything's still looking about the same. Resources and population, all about the same. No more raids from Chris. He's just focusing on resources for the moment, it seems. Focusing on standing around storehouses. Okay. Level two. Feld Feld has gone up to town phase. And Chris has yet to do so. You can buy it in another hundred wood. Ten more ladies coming out for Feld. That'll really swing the population like, even more in his favour. Whereas we've got five slingers coming out over here. A little bit more wood. Another house. No defense towers. Are defense towers no good? They're not necessary? 
Mm. Okay. Mm. The meta game at the moment seems to be horses and range, range units. A whole lot of slangers. Slinger, slingers. Couple of spearmen. My growing low health horses. Kind of. We are looking at Feld Feld having a five. Pop it. Wow, Chris, with your food there, you want to spend it or? He's had his men off of wood for so long that he just doesn't have the other resources to be able to get anything. This is why these horse harass is so effective. Where is the enemy's economy? Where is he getting food? Where is he getting wood? Where is he getting minerals? Where is he getting stone? Right? Find it. Disrupt it. Destroy it. Going back to get, uh, heal them up. He must have... I think there's an upgrade for that. Some horses just... The units do every... Right, so that's specifically for barracks. In town centers, your units just heal up. Is that how that works? You don't need the upgrade for town centers, only for barracks. I'll have to experiment with that. So that is very useful. I think it's percentage based. Um, oh no, it might not be. I think that unit that was very low has is still slowly rising. And so, yeah, it's slowed down. Yeah. Population now five in the field's favour. So many women on food. Thirty-five women on food. Like I understand women are good at food, but what are you doing? What are you doing with these resources? What are you doing? What are you doing with your stone and what are you doing with your food? The uh, building amount of buildings it seems to definitely be in Feld's favor also. I like this m outwards movement. He's so close to him now. This is good walling off, but... Shouldn't the gaps be back here instead of over here? I don't know. <laughs> I mean... Maybe you want to have a big gap at the front and just funnel him in. Just say, come, come into my TC. I'll just ring the bell. City phase for Feldfeld. And Chris reached just as Chris is reaching town phase. Quite far ahead now, Feldfeld. Like, it's not just these that we're looking for. There's other things, there's upgrades. There's amount of buildings. Like a fortress is a big deal. He's not looking at fortresses for a long time now. 
It does have some defense towers up. Whereas Field Field does not at all. Just, well, two. Actually, don't, don't mind me. They're actually equal on defense towers after that one's built. Nope, another one coming up. No, that's just an outpost. Plenty of houses going on. The population cap limit would be the same roughly for both of them. Very big contingent of slingers coming in now to try and just at least find out what's going on. He has no idea of any of this stuff happening here that's just possibility of annihilating him. Another town centre very close, which, hmm, maybe put it up here. I don't know. Or near any resources. It's just for resources, isn't it? You're literally just building a TC for territory expansion? Whereas Feldfeld's done all his territory with buildings, not TCs. Two battering rams coming in now. I do have to say, at least in this game with this build order, I much uh, prefer the way that Feldfeld is playing it. If I could play as quickly as this with these strategies, I'll be qu I would be quite happy. But I'm nowhere near that level. Very many things happening here now. We're looking at some just it's all on. It's all happening. Slingers versus slingers. It's just It's a sling it's slingtacular. And and wow. Slingers uh, ranged units in ah here we go. Now he can take down these rams with Well you know, maybe more than one horse. Here we go, here's the horses. But in the meantime, everything's gone. We have got... Mm, in Blue's favour. Fortress and racks, racks coming back up to replace, and a fortress now. I think maybe he will have set. No, he still doesn't know. It's not a reaction fortress, it's an action fortress. Two more racks coming out. He really wants to pump out units with the a uh, thousand resources he's got. Ah, uh, population now very much in the way of Feldfeld. That last attack. Seems to have very, hmm, did not go well for him. But this one didn't quite go so well for Feldfeld. He would have dropped a few there. Well, not enough to make a difference. These guys need to go to a storehouse immediately. They're carrying all these resources. Not really much, but you know, it's sold something. Three rams coming out now. Feld Feld. He's going to, considering what he knows, he's just going for the barracks. Probably a good option. Nothing being built from them anyway. We've seriously just got some action happening here now. It's it's all on. Is all on. We've even got a super. Wow, his hero is on one HP. Nice micromanagement. And a little bit of luck. Yes, please. 
Ah, we've got Chris's hero. Heroes are incredibly good at taking out siege units. Incredibly. Ooh, the population now is really not going to be looking good for Chris. Hmm, no metal whatsoever. The upgrades are going to be, if he's going for really any, would be in his favour. Is he going for anything? I don't think you really get many other upgrades in this meta. He's getting something. Oh no, he just can't. <laughs> no more war for a little while, just resources. Resourcing the source, gotta get that source going. More rams coming. I mean, oh dear. Just one big push now and it's over. He knows. He knows too. Sometimes you just know. You think, look, my, my pop's on 250 odd now. It's too. S <laughs> it's time to go. Right, and that was it. That was um, Chris's surrender, it seems like. So, yeah, now I'll cut this together with the next one. Alright, now we are watching game two of this matchup between Feldfeld and Chris. Feldfeld starting off in the southwest as the um Indian Indian Indians, I guess, I don't know. And we've got the Celts up here. Britons, I think. Moyans and Britons. Early farmstead. No baskets this time, I mean, not on this map. and baskets for Chris with five berries all right don't know about that but whatever okay worker elephant Oh, worker elephants can build things.
That elephant looks really good. <laughs> I gotta say. So that's a high resolution elephant. Default, here we go, default. A few horses coming out from Chris. Tagata. Or something. Horse, five horses coming out. Very early. What? Oh, the dog. Okay. So, um... Alright. Couldn't really do too much with those horses. Needed a few more, I guess. And a gazelle. He has no opportunity to raid. Feldfeld is microing his cavalry on and off the food resource. Not much going on over here. Or here, really. Population's about the same. A lot of wood for Chris. His um, horses are going down. How many horses did he just lose? So we've got a whole lot of horses here now. Eight. Eight V. Well, seven it was. Now down to six. Seven again with one coming in. Oh, but this is just overwhelming. Eleven horses. Wow, fourteen horses coming out. Ah, uh, yeah, GG. <laughs> it's um, it's over. He has seven horses, and he has thirteen horses. These 13 units are going to raid houses, which is uh, not a great use of resources, but all right, game over, GG. Go to the next replay. <laughs> like this, he he might he has to GG out here, like. I don't even need to know the time, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
Dang. Just too hectic, too... Mm, just trying to do things too fast. He could have slowed down. This replay just keeps going, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, okay, it's done. Alright, on to the next one. And now, we have game three of this best of five, with Chris starting off in the north as the Britons, Brightons, Britain, Britons, <laughs> why do I want to say Brightons? I don't know why. Britons versus Britons we've got. Blue grapes. Not blueberries, I thought. Grapes? Oh yeah, I see the grapes. If it... Don't get berries on a desert map. It's only going to be useful here at the very start. Is it worth... Is it actually... Oh god, he's going to do the same thing. I don't think it's worth that. Because, I mean, how much does Wicker Baskets cost? Probably not much, but... Just to get that a little quicker. <sighs> Maybe. Maybe. I mean, why not, I guess? If everything else you're doing is in perfect... ...amounts and timings, then you're okay, I think. I'm just used to only building five at a time of any unit and having problems because of that. <laughs> axe heads, I'd say, yeah, get axe heads. A whole lot of nothing. Ah, I won't, I won't speed it, I'll just make it look nice. Storehouse going up. Is it a store? Yeah, storehouse, farmstead sitting here with seven ladies on it. I've got another eleven ladies on wood. Four men on stone. Dog. <laughs> I like this little patch of water here. Why not? I say. Just a lady there, just not doing anything. You need to press um, find idle worker on your keyboard more often. Oh, here's the dog, he's coming. Ooh. Oh, there's another one back here. Six ladies doing nothing. Nope, no, he's got him going. T 
twoing it up real early to two it up, but why not? Get that two going. Batch of eight coming out for Chris. I really like that. <laughs> I really like big batches. Your timing has to be just right. But if you do a big batch at the right time, it can be incredibly beneficial. Where is he sending them? They're just standing here. Food. There's one, two extra. Or three, not enough. Three, not enough. What's the word for that? You could have three extra, or you could have three... No idea. Look at this dock coming out. Oh, I, oh, that's beautiful. I love docks when they're used as a collection drop site. Oh. I mean, how much is a storehouse? A hundred. How much is a dock? Two hundred. And a two and a dock can build boats. You see. <laughs> and uh, fishing ships. And it's just grey. All round. I mean, this boat just got a kill. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Why? What? Did he just rage? Did he just... Did he just say... No, I do not accept that I just had a horse... Go down... To a... To a boat. I give up. GG. Ooh. Hmm. I... I disagree with that wholeheartedly. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> That's a bit much. There was practically no difference between yours. Otherwise. Forty-four versus... Well, I mean, now that it's been a few minutes and he's kept playing because he's just in shock. I mean, I guess he thought... He didn't want to play for a whole lot of extra time to get those three wins out of five. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Um... What are these boats doing? He's got them on patrol or something? Um... Nope. Oh. He's moving the boat. Or he looked at the boat. Yeah, well... Hmm. So in this, uh... Quarterfinal... Match... Uh, Feldfeld Feld has won to go and play off, I think, against Borg in the next, in the, uh, semi-finals. Which will be quite interesting to see. It's 
this is this supposed to be a spoiler block or? <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. I hope you have a good one and peace. <laughs>